This is Geeks Without Bounds, an accelerator for humanitarian projects. Don't worry about all the extra bits of information in this presentation. You can go through it at this URL at your own pace. Why would we need an accelerator for humanitarian projects? Right now, there's a big disconnect between people with technical skill sets, hackers, makers, and developers, and those who would benefit greatly from those skill sets. We've been working over the past several years to address this via hackathons, things like random hacks of kindness and crisis camps. But where do the tools and projects coming out of these hackathons go? Right now, they mostly disappear into the ether or are occasionally implemented in one-off instances. Honestly, this is a waste of participants and subject matter experts' time and skill sets, and it's a disservice to those who might benefit from those projects coming to full fruition. To that end, the Geeks Without Bounds Advisory Board has selected projects for the most recent Random Hex of Kindness to take part in our accelerator for humanitarian projects. This will work through a six-month cycle of development and mentorship. The first two months covering if the tool even matters, where will it go, who will use it, how will they use it based on the resources available to them. Then we'll get into how it's actually built, how are you keeping your user base as safe as possible, and what happens when it's not used for its original purpose. How is it still protecting the people who are the most at risk? When we get into business development and legal container formation, it's important that the people building these tools, our teams and the accelerator, are able to support themselves while still being respectful and aware of the resources available to the populations they hope to serve. Then we'll get into pitch refinement, so the teams know how to express what it is they're up to, and then we'll put them in front of people who want to know that. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to support them in continuing their efforts. Finally, in the sixth month, we'll put them in touch with these people, and they'll graduate in a number of different ways. They can sell their product, get hired as a team, or they can form their own business, either for or nonprofit. Geeks Without Bounds has to be able to support itself and our teams. To do this, we accept corporate sponsorships, charitable contributions, and we manage an investor pool. Contributions go towards minimal support staff, a bi-yearly summit, and team stipends. For Geeks Without Bounds to be successful as an organization itself, we take a small percentage of each of these sorts of transactions, a uh, finder's fee, equity, or a percentage of incoming grants and donations. As these teams emerge and mature, it's important that they be integrated with the larger humanitarian community. To make sure graduates are accessible to the populations which need them most, we will encourage teams to build upon existing open source platforms, or they can release their IP under open licenses within three years of involvement with the accelerator. Teams will learn to give back to the community even as they learn how to make a good tool. This is Geeks Without Bounds, an accelerator for humanitarian projects. We hope you'll join us as a contributor, a sponsor, or an advocate. Get in touch with us today.